Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear friends, in the last video, we have learned how to calculate the wind loads for the solar structure that we have modeled in the software. Now we will see how to apply those loads in that software because the application of these loads into the model is uh, quite different compared to the other structures. So let's go to the software screen. Before getting started, if you are new to our channel, then please hit like and subscribe button and share as well with your friends. And let's learn structural engineering together. One more thing, we have already started design courses related to reinforced concrete structures and steel structures along with the steel connection design. If you did not watch those videos, then please go and watch those. Links of these videos I am sharing in the description below. So let's get started. So before applying these loads, let's just uh, because these loads are being applied on the purlins only. So let's just select the purlins and first check the local axis of the purlin. Local axis, okay. So the Z direction is actually for the wind load direction and it is aligned in the purlins direction. Berlin slope direction okay okay first we will apply the wind loads and then we apply the dead loads okay so these are the wind loads first let's apply the dead loads the dead loads are simply loads per exterior joint and loads per interior joint so exterior joint are Perlin's start and Perlin's end means in the model if we go to the model and just select only the purlins and here is the option to select by intersecting lines this is the purlin start element so we have to apply on the start so go to the loads first we have to make the load cases Static load cases dead add wind load at zero A wind add at zero B add zero B add one eighty A add and one eighty B add now self weight in the dead load z minus 1 apply okay first we will apply the dead loads so in the dead loads loads per exterior joint and loads per interior joint for the dead load it's simply just interior and exterior the in exterior points are Perlin's start and Perlin's end in the software just select Perlin's F2 and we are having the option select by intersecting this one because our purlins is starting from this point to going towards that point to check it just go to the display element local direction so okay the local direction is reverses so we first check the local direction to actually align all the local direction in the same direction so just select it and go to the nodes and element tab change parameters reverse local element so now all the purlins are starting from bottom going towards end okay go to the display and uncheck the option now selecting this go to the loads remember to make the load cases first that wind 0 a wind 0 b wind 180 a wind 180 b okay now go to the self weight and apply the dead as minus 1 up add okay now for the point loads we will go to the element beam loads under the dead loads concentrated forces global z because the gravity load is always in the global z direction in the relative 
zero zero means is in the start go to the sheet loads per exterior joint 0 0.0601 minus 0 0.0601 minus means because it is in the global z direction so the gravity is acting in the minus global z so let's just apply right now similar load is applied on the end so for the end let's just pressing one because it is relative okay now in between we do not know the ratio so we will know the distances the load points so let's just remove this and from the starting point to this first load point interior load point is 1052 and the second one is 2103 this is in the projected one and this is in the real dimension 1052 first so 1052 point lies because we know that we have break the purlin at the column location so we cannot start from this point our purlin in the model is starting from this point so start to this and start to this 263 and 1314 okay so selecting the middle one now going absolute first check the units in millimeters now the distance is 263 263 and it's double so, multi so multiplied by 2 apply now select previous it's 1314 same load apply so here the dead loads are being applied to check the magnitude just go to this display load load value and okay works dead display so these are the point loads that we have applied on the beams it is easy to apply the dead loads on the solar structure now and display it coming towards the wind loads now let's start applying the loads one thing to note first is that for the wind direction zero the upper region gets windward and the lower one is the leeward and for the 180 degree vice versa this first we will apply the single loads means outer loads for windward zero for wind direction zero the windward load is being applied on the upper side so we are having the upper side of these for the external load so just go to the elements tab that uh, wind load 0a the concentrated forces now local z select local z direction and relative one okay because the local z direction is such that the force away from the surface okay so here don't confuse with the sign of the loads we have already discussed about it that the negative sign denotes that the force or the load away from the surface so the negative sign away from the surface and local z is also away from the surface so here we will put the positive sign here for this negative sign the calculated negative force will be applied in the software as positive why because of our local z direction okay and similarly for the positive will be applied as negative so 0.79 kilo newtons remember to check the units first so 0 0.79 kilo newtons apply okay so you can see that the force is not applied in the positive up word direction in the global z direction it is applied in the local z direction okay now for the leeward case it is the downward region so downward region outer region 
downward and the outer region so downward outer region means we have to select this and select zero and what is the force magnitude 0.82 minus 0.82 means plus 0.82 and the same load case because we are applying in the wind at 0a apply okay now for wind load at 0b this one 1 minus 1.2 means 1.2 and 0 0.18 Now for 180A, the windward is having 0.91 with the plus sign, but in the software we will have to apply it with the negative sign. But another thing, for the 180 degree case, the windward gets downward region and the leeward gets upper region. So for windward 0.91 selecting downward first 0 and minus 0 0.91 similarly 0.94 leeward leeward gets upper sorry 1 okay now 180B 1.15 0 0.4 Okay So now all the loads are being applied single loads means exterior loads are applied Now for double loads means interior loads For interior loads similar approach just select the intermediate elements and now change relative to absolute and what is the distance absolute distance 263 263 from this node okay and to the first load point inter intermediate load point 263 from this node to the first intermediate load point and 13 14 millimeters from this node to the second intermediate load point so 1.58 windward means upper region now upper region upper region means the sent from this center line this intermediate node and lower region means from center line this intermediate node so we will have to apply the upper region loads in 13 14 millimeter away from the uh, starting point of the element and for the lower region 263 millimeters away okay so first 13 14 and the load magnitude is 1.58 remember to change the load case apply right similarly leeward gets the lower one 1.65 263 and 1.65 okay now for 0 0 b when load case 0 b windward 2.4 and minus 0.36 for leeward for 
0.36 similarly for 180 windward means lower region and the lower region 1.81 with the negative sign lower region means 263 millimeters apart 1.88 upper region similarly 2.31 and 0.79 forgot to change the distance so now all the loads are being applied so we can check it just by go to the works tree menu works tab under the dead loads right click display these are the dead loads so let's uh, change the decimal point to 3 so now we can see that the exterior one are having the half the value compared with the interior one okay similarly for the other load cases as well so up till now we have learned how to actually lay out the solar structure as per our requirement in the CAD and how to model the structure in any mod in any software like in Midas Gen and how to calculate the loads and how to apply the loads okay it is quite difficult to apply it manually by point to point okay so what if these loads are being applied in just one click want to learn this thing so we'll see this in the next video